Morning colleagues, can you guys hear me? Yes, you can. Can you see us? Can you hear us? Loud and clearly? Uh, I can hear you. I can't see you. Um. Can you see us now? Not me. I don't know if anybody else can see you. Yeah, I got I got two windows, but I do see you guys. Uh. Ah, there we go. I can see you guys. Let me just close it up. All right, guys, thanks very much for joining us for our virtual presser for the Colin Curry Cup fixture against the DHL Western Province. I've got head coach Mzwaki Ngosi and Sigma Lions captain Asenati Um When you guys are ready, let's, we've got 20 minutes, so we can kick it off. Uh, I'll start. Uh, it's Jan de Kuning, Rugby365. Uh, guys, first of all, all the best for 2022. Um, I think if we can start, um, I, I know I chatted to Ian uh, earlier in the week about the, the split. Uh, if you just give us a background on, on the expectations from this young group of players uh, and what you think they can achieve this year in, in a competition where they're going to face some serious uh, senior players and other teams. Um, hello, Jan. Um, all the best to you too. Um, yeah, I think each each franchise has chosen, or each franchise and union have chosen a model that you know they think works for them. Um, you know, for us, the URC is the premier is the premier team of the of the franchise and the flagship team. Um, so we believe that you know the split is important in making sure, as you alluded to earlier, we've got one or two young guys in in our Curry Cup group. Um, who need particular focus. So, um, you know, we, we felt like, you know, we, we, we the, the split would go a long way into making sure that we can, number one, give them that focus. Uh, number two, it'll probably give us a better chance at at getting the team into a, into a tighter unit. Um, we think, you know, it's, it's a long comp and for the duration of the comp, you know, the tighter we are, you know, the better we are. Um, so that, just to answer your question regarding why the split um, and then, in terms of uh, expectations for the for this for this Curry Cup, um, we've got no doubt we'll come up against some serious teams. Um, but you know, these kids, I say kids, the, these young guys on their own accord have um, they've also got good pedigree. You know, the guy sitting next to me has probably played at every level possible in South Africa, except the URC, or except the Springboks. So um, you know, a few of them have tasted have tasted what it's like to play in first class rugby. Um, you know, ours is just to ex give them more exposure um, at, to to the rigors of first class rugby, and then um, you know, hopefully they can, they can do something special in this Curry Cup. Jane, some um, happy New Year to you guys. Um, um, apologies for this question. I think I think we all know, you know, what the reality is of the current landscape and stuff. But it's probably going to be a, a question that creeps up in the general public. Um, you guys don't feel you've perhaps disrupted the spirit of the competition by by going this route, particularly with the young guns. Um, hello, Hans. Um, I'm not sure what type of spirit you'd be alluding to in terms of the spirit of the competition. Yeah, that's probably di probably diluting the significance of of the Curry Cup itself, or is that just the reality? Um, it's, it's a bit. The comment is a bit harsh um, to say we're diluting the, the the spirit of the competition. But to answer your question, I think um, you know the, the the Curry Cup is 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 still South Africa's premier domestic tournament. Um, is the Curry Cup uh, a Curry Cup filled with 20, 25, 30 Springboks? 
um, in the, the current rugby model um, doesn't allow for that. Um, but at the end of the day, the trophy that the Bulls won in 2002 or 2003 um, is still the same trophy that's been that's been contended for. Um, I think it's important that in, in South Africa we move we we move with with we evolve as the game is evolving um, and not get stuck into the past uh, stuck in the past to use a cliche. But having said that, um, I, I hate to make comparisons, but you know the the, N, the ITM Cup, just as an example, in New Zealand is not necessarily what the NPC used to be, but it's a magnificent feeder system for, for their franchises. And I don't have to tell you what, you know, how strong their franchises are in terms of from a super rugby perspective. Zwaki, just, just on that, um, um, there's been a lot of debate, you know, about um, how certain unions have had to limit, you know, their junior contracting and or reshifting their focus and stuff. But I suppose you guys still have very much a a model in place, you know, where you still really target the, you know, the cream of the crop youngsters, you know, and we've seen it with your results at under 20 level. Um, do you believe this is also the squad that you have assembled is really a triumph, you know, for for how strong your junior structures has been for years now? Yeah, Hans, we, we make no apologies for, um, for, for, for having a really good uh, junior system. Um, we, we've always been a union traditionally. Who um, you know? Who, who take guys from from within and de- develop our guys from within our academy, and we need it. You know, try and fill up from from the outside. Um, we 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 are, we are a franchise that really loves to to look at its own constituency first. Um, it's not a model that that is universal. So I guess you know other franchises might do things differently. Um, but if you look at if you look at our history and 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 the ebbs and flows of of, of how of the different successes that the franchise has achieved. Um, you know, we've got quite a few guys coming through now. If you look at our URC team, um, Pierki, if you look at, you know, if you go to the flank of Sbu Sangweni, Yaku Kriel, um, Krapi, uh, Krapi van der Berg, so Wandi Similani, so the whole variety of guys have come through our system. And I think it's credit to our system. Um, we've put a hell of a lot of effort into, into getting guys into our union at, at a really young age, um, who then can graduate into first class and senior rugby. Um, having said that, the, the current group now, um, the, the guys have really done well for the franchise in the past three, four years. Um, you know, I think we've got something like between seven and nine junior Springboks, if I think of the top of my head. So that's something we're really proud of. And, and hopefully, you know, we are well, not hopefully, we're excited for, for what, you know, us and these guys can bring uh, at the next level. Asanati, it's, uh, it's Jan de Kuning here again. Um, what would your view be on, I, I, I know and I understand where I and the guys are coming from, but what would your view be to this uh, suggestion that uh, the competition gets watered down with so many juniors? I mean, this is obviously your platform where you can make a statement for yourself. Yeah, to be honest, like uh, just to echo what Coach Mzwaka said, um, obviously we know what, the, what our union does, uh, bring up youngsters and stuff. Um, it's very important for us. Um, we don't look at ourselves. We believe in ourselves, and we have uh, we believe in our abilities as well as, as a team. Um, I mean, we spoke today to the guys and said, "Listen, we, let's go out there and express ourselves. Um, we know we're going to come up against big guns, but we know rugby at the end of the day, like Coach always says, someone's got to get tackled and someone's got to get stepped as well." So yeah. Coach. Just a question. Uh, I mean, if you look at the losers, you're sitting with Chichuka, Kenz, and Mark Snayman. Well, on the other hand, uh, Province sit with Hajiva, Simon Miller, and, and Nama Zaba. That must be um, the place where the match will be won or lost because, I mean, this must be the six best junior, if I may call them junior, uh, losers in the country. Yeah, Carl, I think you're 100% right. Um, the, the loose four trio promises to be a, a tantalizing one. Um, you know, Simon Miller is a hell of a, an exciting prospect coming through. I remember coaching with SS schools. Uh, he comes out of a small school there in St. Albans in Pretoria, but um, he's, he's a really talent. Hachi, obviously, we, we've spent many years with Hachi here. Um, we're fortunate we've got an in-depth knowledge of who he is. Um, Namaz, obviously, we've coached against him. He's captain Western Province Juniors. But having said that, if we look at Mark Sneeman, um, you know, Emmanuel, uh, you know, I think Emmanuel's got, uh, I think he's got a bright future ahead of him in terms of the game. He, you know, he's a really quality athlete and if his exploits 
in the last uh, in the last year or two or anything to go by. I think um, you know he's going to ask really good questions. Jared Kane's probably been under the radar, but you know for us as a as a franchise, he's probably been our standout loose forward at junior level over the last year or two. So um, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't be wrong in saying that you know a big part of the game will be dictated by how well either loose tree or fares. I saw just um just on the squad split. I suppose it must be a really really big confidence booster for you guys to have to almost be safe in the knowledge that, like you mentioned, you guys can go out and express yourself, but you guys also know that you are going to get a longer run. You know that that mistakes are going to be are are going to be made initially as you guys learn, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to get you know a decent amount of chances to actually rectify that. That must give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, listen, it's, it, it's still on. Um, listen, the guys are very happy to get some game time and obviously we're going to get some confidence along this, along the way as well. Um, like I said before, um, we're going to get we're going to face a lot of big guns. There's going to be a lot of challenges ahead of us. But like I said, the guys they really believe in themselves and obviously we know what what, what we're capable of. Um, like a, a lot of people are saying it's a young team. Yes, and indeed it is a young team. We're not going to put that aside, but Listen, the guys are very excited for the campaign. Can you see? Are you guys still there? Yeah, we still here. Are we comfortable, guys? Any more questions? I'm all good, thanks. Thanks, Jan. Happy? Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, James. All the best. Thanks, thank you. thank you. Thanks, Thanks Ross. James. Thanks, Ross. Music.